General Motors' robo-taxi unit Cruise is slashing its workforce. Almost a quarter of jobs will go as it tries to recover following an accident that forced it to halt operations. The unit has been in turmoil ever since the October incident, which saw a pedestrian dragged for 20 feet by one of its vehicles. California subsequently suspended its permit for testing driverless cars. It called them a risk to the public and said the company had misrepresented the safety of its technology. Chief Executive Kyle Vogt and co-founder Dan Can both then resigned last month. Earlier this week, Cruz fired nine executives, including its chief operating officer. That followed an external probe by lawyers, which looked into the accident and management's response to it. Now the layoffs will see 900 out of 3,800 staff lose their jobs. GM had warned last month that it would cut costs at Cruz, which has lost more than $8 billion since 2016. Separately, Thursday also saw it announce 1,300 job losses at two Michigan auto plants. It's not the end of the road for the robo-taxis, though. Cruise has said it will eventually relaunch and expand again.